Hi guys, it's Nick. Welcome back to my channel. So for this video, I really wanted to focus in on the affordable products that you can find at Ikea that look really high end. So this is not a list where I just give you some of my favorite products. I've done that before. Uh, that's not what this is. You're not going to find Billy Bookcase or Mom Dressers or whatever, Alex drawers, you're not gonna find sort of your really typical uh, IKEA products for this video. I really wanted to focus in on those really special products that I don't necessarily think scream IKEA. This is the stuff that I think is just a little bit different and it looks more high end than the price. When I can in this video, um, I'll try to point out if there's other comparable products that I have found at other retailers and we'll also touch on some pricing and yeah, let's get into it. So the first product I want to touch on is the Tillagged. Um, that is a 20 piece utensil set. So you got four different place settings, but it's in a matte black, which matte black is super trendy right now. What I love about it is not just because it's really cool and interesting, but also because it's a bit unexpected. Not everybody has black cutlery, um, but when you look at other retailers, this stuff usually is really expensive. So at Ikea, I'm gonna price everything in US dollars because pretty much half my audience is in the US um, and it's about 50 bucks US, which is a really great price point for 20 uh, utensils. So that's four place settings. Um, compare that to, I just found these at CB2. These guys are a hundred bucks a piece. I found these at West Elm. They're about $140 a piece. Um, which, so already you're saving so much money by going with this set. It's a little bit different, it's a little bit unique and at a really great price point, 50 bucks. I mean, you can't go wrong with that. Next up, I wanna talk about the Malston tiles. So Malston tiles are these outdoor deck tiles and they are this really interesting, cool, funky pattern. They're really geometric, really, really neat. They come in a gray and also a blue, um, but they've always got these like little interesting, super cool, funky pattern. Um, and I think if you were to find this at other stores, it would be a lot more expensive, but at Ikea, uh, it's about 30 bucks for nine square feet. Nine square feet is about 0 0.84 meters for all you Europeans, because I see you commenting down below that you want me to give you the square meters, so there you go. Um, so overall, it's not great probably for like a really huge deck, but I think if you've got an apartment or something with a really small sort of patio on the side, I think this is a really, really great set. And I think when people see this, they will be surprised that it's Ikea, because, you know, it's a little bit of a risk. It's a really funky, cool pattern tile, which I love. Um, and I think just kind of scream something a little bit more high-end than what you're gonna get with just sort of the basic run and tech tile, which I also really like. But I just think the Malston is a little bit different. It looks higher end, but the price point is really reasonable for an outdoor tech tile. So check that one out. Okay, so now we have arrived in like the rattan section of the video, okay? And so the first one is actually a collection and it's called the Busk Bow. The one I really wanna talk about though is the chair. I have talked about this before, but I just think it's so gorgeous. It's so unique. It's very different. I think it would be at home with a Scandinavian design because it's got that really warm kind of neutral color to it. Um, it would be great in like a farmhouse, boho. I mean, this just would make so much sense in a boho uh, space. So if that's what you have, really consider this chair. Uh, it's just really neat and it's about 139 for just the chair. And I think 169 if you get the little cushion, uh, but it also comes in a few other things as well. The Busco also comes in two plant stands. Uh, one is kind of like a, uh, one, a tray sort of that can uh, fit three plants. And another one is like a small single, but it still has that same sort of busk bow rattan um, material and it just looks really, really cool. They also have a magazine rack, which is like 20 bucks. I don't know. I mean, I don't know who has magazines anymore, but if you do, then maybe consider this magazine stand because I think it's really, really cute and sort of complements the other things in the Busk Bow collection. So really affordable. I think if you saw this in someone's house, you wouldn't be like, this is this is super like an Ikea looking house, uh, but it looks really interesting. But again, if you were to find this at another store, it would be a lot more expensive. So keeping with my rattan bamboo sort of natural wood sort of feel, is the Mr. Holt. This is a really beautiful pendant. I think if you had three of these in a kitchen, it would be gorgeous. Uh, I think if you just had a pendant in your room or above your dining room table, it's really cool. Uh, and this is 60 bucks. Like this is so cool and so interesting and kind of just a really nice looking pendant for Ikea. And 60 bucks is a really great price point for this item. Just to be a, just to do a comparison, I found this pendant at CB2 and it's 300 bucks. So that is a massive difference. Now, for the record,
favored, by the way, for this video. I'm not saying they're necessarily always like of equal quality. I'm not saying these more expensive items are no good, but I am saying that it, Ikea is so good here at giving you a really sort of high-end feel, a high-end item at a really affordable price point. And I just think they did a really good job with this pendant. So again, it looks a lot more expensive. It's quite interesting and really cool and just really natural and warms up the space, all for 60 bucks. So definitely consider this one. Another one is the Snedad basket. Um, baskets are just a really great decor item that you can sort of put in your space. You can put throws, you can put blankets. Uh, it's great for sort of storage. And the Snedad, whatever you pronounce that, basket is that really warm, natural look to it. And it's 25 bucks. So this is something I have seen a lot over Instagram and Pinterest. So a lot of people seem to love this, but for good reason, because it just is really natural, really organic looking. Uh, but for $25, it's a steal of a deal compared to what you would find at other stores. And on the same lines is the Alceda, the Alceda or Alceda, I don't know. Uh, it's kind of this really interesting sort of squashed flat poof. Um, I've seen people do some really cool DIY things with this. I've pe seen people put sort of wood dowel legs on it and it becomes a table. I've seen people stack two uh, at a time that works. I've seen people put like a wood tray over top. That looks really neat. And this is 30 bucks. And I just think you can get a couple of these or one of these and just stick it in your corner and it just really sort of adds. Again, you boho folks, uh, this is really, really great. It's just an interesting, cool texture and, you know, poofs just sort of, it gives kind of a little bit of some soft seating for people. Again, you could put a tray over top. Now all of a sudden it's a table, super versatile, and it just looks really, really cool. And for 30 bucks, I think you really can't go wrong, especially considering if this was in another store, it would be a lot more expensive. But here at Ikea, I think it's really truly affordable. So definitely check that one out too. Okay, so moving away from the wovens for a little bit, let's talk about the Sinella. So the Sinella is a collection of, they've got um, different color pillows and different color curtains. They're all kind of matching, so you can sort of choose to match your curtains to your pillows if you want, but they're like a velvet. So if you watched some of my videos before, you know I'm a really, really big fan of layering different textures into your space, but using color as an amazing unifier for your space so that it looks cohesive and it all looks like it really belongs with each other. So the Sinella is really cool because it's velvet, which is super, uh, kind of has that like luxe feel. And again, you don't really see velvet in sort of other textures in your space. So it's another cool texture that you're layering in. It comes in a whole bunch of different colors, which means if you're going for green or orange or mustard or navy or gray or whatever, you've got an option there. Uh, you've got the corresponding curtains. If you want to tie them both together, you of course can. Um, and oh yeah, did I mention the price? The cushion covers are eight bucks and the curtains are 60 bucks. And I just think that is a super awesome deal. Plus here's a tip for you. What I really love about subbing out your or cushion covers and something like the Sinella, which I think just works really well, is for different seasons, it's a great way to sort of sub out different colors for different changes in the season. So for example, let's say it's September and you want to move into more earthy tones in your space, but you don't really know how to do it. Subbing out your pillows, changing out the covers is a really great way to sort of add a little bit of fall color into your space without necessarily uh, needing to commit to a whole new look. Christmas, you can sub those out for whatever color scheme you're going for. In spring, you might want to do bigger, you know, blues and yellows and different colors there. I mean, there's lots of different ways you can do this. And with the Sedella, it's super easy to do, super cheap, and all you have to do is sub out the covers. So a really great find, super, super cheap, but definitely feels quite luxe. So an awesome, awesome pick from Ikea. Okay, next up is the Norarid. I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, this one is really for you like classic Scandi folks, right? This is a really beautiful Scandinavian chair. It's a dining chair and it is just really gorgeous. And what I really love about it is that it's kind of that classic Scandinavian feel. So if you're going for Scandi, if you're going for farmhouse, I think this would work really, really well for you. But here's the thing. It comes in white, it comes in black, but let's talk about the price point. One of these chairs is 75 bucks. For comparison, and again, I'm not saying these are the exact same thing, but if you go to Design Within Reach, if you don't know them, they're a retailer that really specializes in like specific kind of higher end design and sort of making it within reach where you can like buy it online. And there you go. Uh, so these chairs on Design Within Reach, which are similar, are 175 and the Ikea chair is 75. So that's a hundred bucks right off the bat. But here's the thing, you and I both know you don't usually buy one dining room chair. You're probably buying four, six, maybe eight if you have a really grand dining room table. Um, that can really add up. That's like 400, 600, 800 bucks that you're saving by going with Ikea versus Design Within Reach. Now Design Within Reach, 
rich, beautiful chair, uh, but it's just nice to know that you have a little bit of that high-end Scandi sort of wood feel, which can also work in like a farmhouse or whatever, that you also have an option for you that's actually quite affordable. So definitely an example of a chair that is much cheaper at Ikea than finding something similar in another retailer. Okay, now let's talk about the Boomerang. The Boomerang is a um, set of wood clothes hangers and they are an eight pack is five bucks. Now I will say there comes a point in your life where you realize maybe you shouldn't use the plastic or metal crappy hangers that they give you at the dry cleaners, right? Like maybe you should just throw those out and and start fresh because it's much better for your clothes and it looks much more organized and put together when you look in your closet when everything is just really nicely beautiful laid out and you have a consistent hanger that just fits and is just gorgeous in your uh, Pax wardrobe maybe uh, that I think will look really great. So I would recommend these wood hangers. I have them in my own house. I've had them for a few years and I just love them. And again, they're much cheaper here at Ikea than what I have found at other retailers. Uh, but it just, just has a really nice solid wood feel and it's just really better for your clothing and just better for your, your closet. Right? Just because other people don't necessarily see it doesn't mean that um, it also doesn't deserve uh, a bit more of the um, quality treatment. So I would definitely upgrade your hangers and really consider the boomerang. So next up is the Wren's like white sort of creamy sheepskin rug. So first of all, this is not for you vegans or vegetarians, okay? So let's just get that out of the way. But if you're comfortable with this, the Wren's is really beautiful and really luxe and just, it's like sheepskin. So it's just really soft and it's just got this, it layers in a beautiful texture into the space, kind of like the velvet cushions I was talking about earlier. It just gives that little bit of texture and just that really squishy, homey, nice feeling that will work, of course, in Scandinavian. If you know all about this if you've seen my uh, Scandinavian video I'll post it right here um, or here wherever basically the Wrens is just this really soft beautiful sheepskin rug now it's not huge this rug don't think for 30 bucks it's gonna cover your living room so you can actually layer them like over top of um, over the arm of your couch or even on a side chair and you know what I actually use them for again if you saw my modern Christmas decor video you know this I use them actually as the base of the uh, tree skirt on the bottom of my Christmas tree so that was kind of a way to do something multi-purpose because because the thing is with the tree skirt, you only use it once a year, but the wrens you can sort of bring out in, uh, in other parts and just sort of add a little bit of fur, just a little bit of some soft, squishy um, fur into your space all year round. So a definitely beautiful find. And again, I have looked in other retailers and to buy actual sheepskin is usually a lot more expensive, but for 30 bucks at Ikea, this is a really great find. Okay, next up is the Satsumas collection. So the Satsumas are a collection of like these white plant stands that also have these really cool uh, wooden dowels for legs. So they're super mid-century. They're super like organic looking, which I think works really, really well if you're gonna like use it for a plant stand. So you're obviously bringing plants into the home. So it just kind of has this really, really cool feel. And the price point is awesome. The three tier is 30 bucks. The ladder is 40 bucks. And the bench stand is 50 bucks, which I think is really affordable because you know that if you've gone to a plant store and you've gone to shop for planters, they are crazy expensive. And 30 bucks, I think especially that three tier is a really good bargain. It just sort of looks really great in the corner of your space. And again, you're bringing in those little tiny uh, little touches of uh, life into your space, uh, but it's got a really cool plant stand that just sort of is going to work with a mid-century space. Or well, honestly, farmhouse, you boho people, like Scandinavia, like it just really works with a lot of different designs. It's quite simple, it's quite modern in its shape. Um, yeah, so maybe check that one out too. And for 30 bucks, you really can't go wrong. Okay, and finally, I wanna talk about the Lauters. Uh, this is a floor lamp. Uh, this works well for transitional, even, I think if, even if you're a traditional person, you might like this. Um, it can work well for mid-century, Scandinavian. So it comes with like this really nice wooden legs, but it also comes in black as well, by the way. But the floor lamp is $55, which I think is such a good deal. Um, it just looks really cool and really, again, it's got that transitional look to it for me. I just think it looks a little bit modern. It's quite sleek, but it's it's quite sophisticated at the same time. So again, I don't feel like this really screams Ikea. Um, it's just gonna look a little bit different than some of the stuff that you might expect from an Ikea uh, floor lamp, but it just looks a little bit special and I really like it. And for $55, it's a lot cheaper than what you'd expect to pay somewhere else. So that's it for me for today, guys. I'm also gonna link right here to my top 10 Ikea product video. So if you wanna check that out, feel free. And uh, that's it, I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks a lot, bye.